Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Escape Art by Scott and uh, I am Scott. I am a landscape uh, a painter and I notice I said painter I did not say artist because uh, that really still is out for debate. I don't know if I'm quite an artist yet but uh, I'm working on it. Uh, this is my very first video for YouTube. Uh, really my very first video period and I'm really out of my uh, comfort zone doing this. I really don't like uh, having my uh, picture taken. It's, it's just not my thing. Uh, so <clears throat> let's uh, let's get going here. I'm uh, uh, describe what I'm about to do for you. This is a 16 by 20 uh, uh, a canvas. Uh, it is already uh, primed and, uh, and uh, ready to go. And I already had my uh, uh, paints uh, laid out to save a little time. And uh, well, let's just get going with this. I'm sure you're not here just to hear me uh, just talk about it. So I'm going to do a, a good bit of painting, a little bit of talking through this. Uh, my plan is to have a nice bright sky and some trees right here and some uh, uh, land mass uh, right here. Uh, let's just see where this goes. I'm just doing this uh, out of my mind, really. Uh, really, my thought is going on canvas, and I'll get to that uh, later on at the end of the video, uh, exactly how I paint. So uh, let's get on with this, okay? Here we go. We are going to add a little uh, paint uh, to the brush. I will, for you beginners out there, I will uh, walk this up. Just to show you how to uh, paint, uh, how to put the paint on a brush. Uh, this is my <laughs> this is my palette here. Uh, this is a, a acrylic paint. Uh, I normally uh, paint in oil, but due to that fact, I'm out here in my uh, I'm out here in one of my buildings in my yard, and uh, due to the fact the old paint has a bit of an odor to it. Uh, I chose to start uh, doing acrylic. I'm still learning my acrylic myself. Uh, so there's some do's and don'ts uh, with acrylic and I will get into that. Um, you know, my opinion uh, on this subject, you know, different between oil and acrylic. But again, uh, I will walk this back up to the camera just to show you beginners how, how to uh, paint. You know, I have my paint laid out on these little piles of paint. I got uh, some very light blue. I have a darker blue over here and I have some black. Uh, down here just piles of paint right so uh, uh, when you put paint on a brush you don't want to go directly into your piles of paint just pull some out on your brush just like what, I, what I'm doing here if you go back into your piles of paint just put your brush right into it that's what it's going to have on your brush but this is how you want your brush to <clears throat> uh, look like just even about even way through the brush and uh, come up here and I got my little uh, spray bottle here well, it, just, it just has some water and lightly mist your canvas it seems like acrylic will go on easier with, uh, with a little water up here and you just come up here and just wherever you want to start I'll start right here and just, just, just put in your uh, sky uh, lighter area you want your lighter area you want your darker areas uh, just don't make it all one color of, of blue and I'm going to add a little bit more dark blue to this and go down as far as you want to Hope this is showing up all right on camera. Again, this is my very first video. I'm gonna smoke blue right here. Wherever you think, putting in skies, it is it, really, uh, it, it's no real, should be a real big problem. A, a little practice and you'll get it. Um, a little background on myself. I've been painting for oh, about 13 or 13, 14 years now. So, uh, and I'm still learning. Uh, uh, and how uh, this thing I'm doing this is a little hobby that I picked up and I stuck with it and uh, I'm doing okay with it I think I think 
And right now I'm going into a little bit of blue, putting the brush, on, the paint on the brush. This is the way I did, and this is why I showed you. And uh, your sky is how you get distance in your sky is you want your top of your canvas, your sky, darker than what you have below. So you come in with a little darker paint, a little darker blue, and just darken it up a little bit. Uh, one uh, little tip I, I like to give you uh, guys is that when you're painting little to more, put on a little paint and you can always add more to it. But if you put out too much paint, it is aggravating trying to get that paint out of there, out of the paint. It is much easier to add paint than to take away paint. I guess I'm saying that good enough. A little bit more paint right up in here. And that'll be it for that. And i uh, get another, uh, this is a, just a clean brush. And uh, what you want to do is you want to get rid of your brush strokes up here. So, uh, as much as you can, uh, to me anyway. Uh, so starting from the bottom, working my way up. If you start at the top and work your way down, you're gonna have bring some of that dark color down here to your light color, and you don't want that. Always work from the bottom up when you're doing the sky. You just start at the very bottom. Now uh, before it dries, that's one thing about acrylic; it will dry on you. And just blend it out. If you add, need to add a little bit more color, uh, which I do, a little bit more paint right around in here. And don't be afraid that if you don't get it right the first time, guys, you ain't going to get it right the first time. And I think well, that's one of the issues that people have is that when they're painting, if they don't get the right amount of paint at one time, it's a failure. It is not a failure. Uh, uh, and it's good, really, that if you know if you don't have it right, you know you know you know to go back and you know and fix it. So that ain't no problem with that. And there, there we go. It's okay to leave some white areas because that's going to be just end up being clouds, and that's okay. Yeah. And uh, speaking of clouds, I'll, I'll do a few clouds for you. I have a, a fairly decent amount of brushes I have on my table here. Uh, however, my when I do my old paintings, I have many more brushes than I do have acrylic brushes. Uh, the old, old brushes I use is a natural hair of uh, a brushes, natural hog hair, horse hair, whatever hair, and uh, the acrylic brushes. I have found this research is best to use synthetic, you know, nylon brushes and, and polyester brushes, you know, things of this nature. Because the uh, oil, if you use your brushes, your nylon brushes with oil, the oil will ruin the brushes. So they say, and who am I to differ, right? <laughs> so. Let's see. Here. Be right back, guys. Be right back with you. Here we go. Just getting out of my brush. And again, just I'm just putting a little brush in my a little paint on my brush here. And wherever you want your clouds that. I want to have, uh, I know I'm going to have some, a bunch of trees right here. So to me, there's no sense to put clouds in an area that you know that it's going to be covered up anyway. So why do that? And I will get into that later. And sometimes I ain't knocking the other artists. Now I ain't doing that at all. The other painters, artists. Uh, but sometimes they uh, do a bunch of things 
Now, I, I just, I don't understand why they do that, and I'll get into that later. So, I know I have a bunch of trees right here, so I'm going to come over here with my clouds. And all you do is uh, make a little circle of motions with your, with your brush. However you want, to want, your, want your clouds to work, to look like. And I'm getting some, I thought that would be dry enough, but evidently not. I'm getting some paint on my brush, but that's okay. We'll work with that. When you're putting in your clouds, I hope you can see this all right. When you're uh, putting in your clouds, um, I'll come right here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but uh, you don't want to just stand here and go round and round in a circle. And don't move your brush. That's the key about making clouds. Don't stay in one spot. Work it. Go all over the place with your cloud. And if you're doing it with one spot, all you can do is make a, a little cotton ball in the sky. You know, now if that's what you want, that's fine. But that ain't what I want in my sky. So come right here. Put another one. See how I'm moving that brush around? And wrap a little cloud that right, you put in, just blend the cloud out. If you go outside and you look at clouds, they are blended. It looks to me that they are blended right at the bottom of the sky. Right at the very bottom of the cloud, rather. And this is how you do. This is how you layer your clouds. Do one cloud. If you want to put a cloud in front of that, you do one cloud and just come down right below where you had uh, uh, blended it out and put another cloud in. And blend that out. And actually, I can use this brush here. And you just do, do uh, circular motions. And uh, I ain't going to put too many calls uh, into this painting. Because uh, I'm just going to, I'm just doing this basically for uh, a reference. Just to show you how, how you can do some clouds. It's not, <clears throat> I, I don't want to uh, get into a whole lot of uh, make this thing sound more serious than that, that it is. Uh, that's one of the issues what I have with other uh, artists on uh, YouTube. Uh, they make it sound too more uh, scientific uh, uh, way of painting. You know, uh, folks with painting, we're, we're not doing brain surgery, okay? We're not uh, making a new uh, uh, rocket fuel, okay? Uh, and uh, we're not doing, uh, you know, uh, liver transplants here. Uh, we're, all we're doing is painting. It ain't that serious how some, uh, you know, artists are, are talking. And, uh, but that, just give yourself a chance at this when you're starting to paint. Yeah, don't, just, don't, just don't give up on painting and, you know, stick with it. So, uh, you know, enough, enough on that. I want to do one more cloud here, I blend it out, 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 and I want one more probably right about here. And uh, guys, uh, clouds are probably one of the freest uh, things uh, in nature. A uh, cloud go grow every which way. Just kind of make it look like a cloud, and make your clouds uh, as soft as you can. Make your clouds as soft as you can. Sometimes I see clouds in other paintings. They look really hard, like if a, that it would take out a, an airplane if it ran through it. Okay, you make it so soft that a bird can fly through it. You make your cloud look like you know it's a train wreck up there for you know an airplane wreck. But then you know it's really too hard you know, to blend it out. It's just a little bit more. However, you got to be careful with that because uh, you know you can blend clouds until they just go away, and you don't want that. 
uh, get it to where you want it and then leave it alone. And I will get into that also later, uh, you know, about, you know, some problems you might run across. About, you know, when, you know, when you're painting something, <laughs> when, when you're painting something, I don't care if it's a tree, you know, it's a rock, get it to where you want it and leave it alone. You keep working at it and you're just going to kill it. You're just going to destroy everything that you did. Because I know I've been and done it and I still do it. Alrighty. Next step, I think what I'm going to do is start putting in some trees right here. Uh, this painting, very easy painting, guys. Anybody can do this painting. If I can do it, and you can do it. Believe me. But, you know, I didn't want to do it such an easy painting that, you know, it's, you know there's no interest to it. And I wanted to have uh, some uh, interest in, in this painting here. Uh, you know, I could have just did a nice, quick, easy winter scene or something that's very easy. Winter scene is very easy to do. I did not want to do that. Uh, I really wanted to show different things, uh, how I paint, and uh, show you just how easy it is to paint. Now, my paintings will never be in the uh, museums in London or New York or anything like this. Uh, for that is for sure and for certain. Uh, but <clears throat> this is just an easy way for me to paint, an easy way for you to paint, just a few hours, and, you know, to paint, and you can have very nice paintings. Some people take, you know, a few days to a few weeks to paint. I just cannot stand in front of a canvas and paint a little rock for, take a whole hour to paint a rock. I just can't do that. It's just not for me. It is for other people. That's fine. That's on them. But it, it just doesn't work for me. And, you know, I like to, uh, um, if I'm going to paint a rock, I'll paint it and get away from it. All right, so here we go. Now I'm going to um, paint, paint some trees. Uh, I'm going to make me some paint up here. A little black and some blue. Probably need another out for this and we'll just be right back and we'll get some green bunch of equipment I got here. I don't know, you probably don't see it um, in the camera, but you know, I have some paper tiles here and there and my paints and my paint brushes. And when doing acrylic, remember that they're acrylic and they dry very quick. So what you want to do, I uh, guess, instead of saving time, I'm doing this video, so I want to say try to save some time. And instead of keep cleaning brushes, I'm dipping. I got a little jar of water here, and I'm going to what I've done. I dipped it into uh, my uh, little jar of water here. Just dip the brush, and then not all the way, just to dip to where the paint's at, and took it out, shook it off a little bit, and laid it on my table. That is just to save time. Alright, let's see here. I guess. Now I'm about to go into my mixture of black. Black, I got black, blue, and some green. And you really do need a little darker color when you're doing your trees uh, because, uh, uh, you know, trees ain't all green, they ain't all just one color. You got some shadowy areas in there and that's what makes trees very nice is those uh, shadow areas. And uh, that, that, that's what you need when, when you're doing some trees. And in order to uh, show some distance into your painting, what, how, what you want to do is you want to have a small 
and when you're working up here to the top of the canvas, small to large. Uh, you know, smaller trees, this, for this instance, I'm doing trees. You know, smaller trees and just make them bigger, bigger, bigger. And I'll show you. As long as they have the same uh, shape as uh, trees, you're, you're doing all right. And notice, guys, here's a key uh, thing right here that I want to point out. Is that notice how, uh, you know, it's smaller, okay? But also this tree here, you know, that could be several trees, okay? Uh, but it's lower. Is lower than that one here. And you want to make this one here come down even further. See how it's looking? How it's going here and you're going back. And that's what you want. And if you want, this is very nice to point out, you don't need to cover all this in with dark color. Leave some openings and let the sky come through the trees. And that's very nice. That's little details that are, are very, very nice. And you come all the way down. All the way down to the bottom of the canvas. more paint mix me up some more blue and some more black some more green here but this looks like a nice little place this is how you can change your mind when you're painting this might be a nice little place to have a little um, you know a stream or some water coming through here you know I uh, thought about showing you uh, how easy it is just to uh, make some water and uh, hopefully it'll work out now to me um, you know any water is dark as a darker color I've seen lots of uh, a paintings where it's bright bright blue water you know it, to me it just doesn't look like river water to me or stream water however you want to say it now this is the, the hardest part of this painting I'm about to do so really pay attention this guy is very difficult to you know to get it right here, here it goes are you ready you with me all right here we go Woo! This is it. And I need to spray that down just a little bit. We'll just, it ain't going on too smooth. There it is. See, see the difference, guys, when you put some water on that, how, how easy it is. 
you don't want to put too much uh, water. I'm running in an issue at times that uh, it'll run, start running on you. Don't look a whole lot right now, but you know, in a will, it will here in a minute. I hope I might have messed it up, but we'll see. Now, you know, very dark, uh, as you can tell. So, what I'll do is uh, I'll take this brush here and I'll go into some into some white very little uh, be careful of this uh, part of your painting you don't want to get too too light on you as a matter of fact i just wiped it off some of it and you can come up here and just grab and pull down don't overwork this and what you do is you come across now. Come straight across. And now you can play with a little bit of color here. Uh, now you can come back with your green. If you want. A little green in your paint and your water here rather you just come down with some green and maybe you want also you want like to have some a little blue in there also come up here just a little blue don't overdo this need to wipe that off I'm right I had to wipe off my brush now I'm just cleaning it because I'm about to go into some white again to lighten that up a little a dirty brush and you're going into some white your white is going to turn up black or brown or whatever color that you're putting into it so if you're going into white try to keep it as pure as possible as any color of paint and you come up here and again don't overdo this don't overdo it at all And whenever you're doing this, always go across. Again, keep in mind, guys, this is my first video. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying or what I'm doing with a hole up in the quarter wall, you know. But, you know, it works okay with me, okay? So, either, you know, either you like this video and you're going to continue to watch, I hope, or, or you're not. So, uh, we'll leave it like that. Now, another thing I want to point out here is that whenever you're doing a scene like this and you're going to have some water, you do your land mass here, which in this case is trees, do your water, and then come over here and put in your land. Now, if I was to do this part and then come up with some land, now, try, now i got to squeeze in the water in here. And that ain't really too good. So, but now give yourself a chance of doing this thing right. Do your landmass, whatever side, landmass, water, and then come back in with your other landmass, whatever it's going to be. Now 
gonna have some land coming over here. Let's see here. And all you do here with this land, how high or wherever you want the land to come. Now this is how you can form your river. Because you can have and uh, see how the angle that I'm uh, going I'm going down at an angle so where the river will set in to my painting. Don't go straight across because it just it won't look right. And you can come all the way out here with your land. See how I did that? Came all the way out. All the way out into the river. Or stream or whatever you want to call it. part right here uh, you can almost put this in with, with a paper towel paint roller it don't matter because you're going to come back in with highlights anyway you know another thing about acrylic painting what I'm learning kind of like it, it is sometimes uh, the drying time is uh, in your favor because uh, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. This right here should be about dry, not not quite dry, but uh, what it allow you to do what it allow you to do. Is that uh, you can paint right on top of this and the paint won't come off like the color I have here I'm about to put a little bit more white make some water uh, movements in here and what it'll do if you if, you know oil uh, you have to be careful because oil will come right off if you allow this right here to dry and so when you come back with your water movements in this case water movements it, your paint won't come off and your white paint will stay true to its color I guess that's what I'm trying to say and let's see here that ain't, now that still ain't dry enough I'm sure this over here is dry enough let me touch it yeah that's good so while this is dry I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this let's see here getting me some more paint uh, another thing I like to add is that when you lay out your paints use a smaller amount of paint as you can you can again small to more just add, keep adding paint as you need it if you put a whole bunch of paint on here you know you, you might uh, you know, waste some paint and you don't want to do that because You know, this is the mistake. Uh, let me break it down to you so where you might can understand. Is that if you put on too much paint in your painting, you got to take it off. You're wasting time. Okay, basically, you know, you're just wasting your time on your painting. Now, a waste of time don't bother you. All right. Well, if you have to take off paint, now you're wasting paint. Now, if, if wasting time don't bother you, wasting paint don't bother you. I know this is. Because if you waste time and you waste the paint, you're going to waste the money. You're going to waste some dollars. And I know that is going to bother you because I know it does me. So keep that in mind. We're going to do some trees now. Let's see. And 
And I'm probably going to go ahead and clean this brush off also. Yeah. That's one thing you have to learn, uh, you know, got to keep up with the brush cleaning. And that's very important, guys, uh, when, when you're painting and your brushes, uh, if you do them good, uh, if you do them good, then they will last you for a long time. If you don't, you're just going to keep on buying brushes. So, I know this is taking a little bit of time uh, away from me painting and all, you know, but uh, it's worth it because I ain't going to ruin my brushes. And really, you know, I'm trying to do this way I would do it anyway. And uh, I don't want to do something that I wouldn't normally do. That ain't fair to you guys. Let's see. All right. Let's come up. Let's do some painting now. Again, let me show you this. How, you know, just with the corner of the brush. And I'm just going in and just tapping a little bit of the green. And I'm coming right up here. And start. And just start putting in some uh, leaves. Now, I don't know how many times that I've seen people you know putting in these leaves and they put in it seems to me that you're putting in one little leaf at a time again guys I can't do that just can't do it and now when you're doing your trees you got all this dark in it do not cover all of your dark up with green leaves leave some uh, shadowy areas in there and when you're going down the road in the car look at your trees and uh, just uh, hey I mean you should you'll see all kind of shadowy uh, areas there is and it's not just covered up all in and, and green leaves And uh, use some, uh, and you can use a very, variations of green, a dark green, lighter green, hair putting in some little yellow uh, areas in here. And how, how you can separate. If you want to separate uh, some trees, now I don't know if you can see it. Here's a tree about to do another tree. You want to separate that tree from this tree. There's uh, several ways you can do it. Um, you can use a totally different color to separate that tree from that tree, a lighter green or darker green, or, or uh, just a whole different color and so I'm right here I don't know if you see that all right so I'm, I'm just doing this I just wanted to separate one tree from another And now, since I got that separated, now I'm going to come back with my uh, green that I've been using and come right back in here. Again, if you can, use, let some of that sky 
I'll show through through your trees. I got a few areas here where I'm going to leave open, let some of that sky come through. Come, come through the trees. And just pick them out, pick out uh, uh, however you want to do it. Again, this takes time, this takes practice. Again, I've been painting for 13, 14 years, still learning. And uh, just uh, give it a chance. Uh, your first uh, few paintings might not look so good, but you know, learn from them. You know, I believe that, uh, uh, you know, you'll make most of your fair mistakes, but it's not really a mistake if you know it's a mistake and you know how to fix it. And you know, to me, that ain't no big deal. That ain't no uh, big mistake. You know, all, whatever problem you come up with, you can't fix it. Again, just going back and forth on my colors. Now I want to separate this one. And all I'm doing is using the top. All I'm using is the top corner of that. Oh, that's a good shot there. That's all I'm using, the top corner. The rest of that brush, I'm not even using. It don't even have paint on it. Now that's all I'm using. I know one thing, it's getting hot in here in this building, and I will have to get me an air conditioner. And as you get down here closer, you know, you can put in some little uh, foliage little bushes and things again I can't say it enough because this is the part where you can actually uh, you know ruin your painting because you're putting on too much of this highlights As I'm painting this, I want to get into some other things. Um, it's really up to you guys uh, how far, you know, I go with this, uh, doing these videos. And uh, hopefully you guys will like this. And, um, my son and my wife have been on my butt about doing, making a video. And... Uh, I'm just going to give it, I'm giving it a shot, really. Because if you'd have told me years ago, 13, 14 years ago, I'm going to be doing videos for YouTube, uh, I would think, I would say, well, what uh, a hospital did you escape from? Because that is just crazy. And, but I would be the one that's crazy, because that's true. Because here I am, making this video. And uh, one thing uh, that I do a little different than some uh, artists uh, that, did I, did I say artists? Um, one thing that I do different, uh, one of the things is how I do my trees. Because as you know, I start, I put in all the leaves first. I did not put in the 
trunks or the twigs or things like this right here because I just don't think you know let's say I put all these uh, the tree trunks in let's say I put all the twigs and the branches and things and I come back with all these leaves everything I did probably 80% of it would be covered up and I just don't understand uh, doing that why do something when you know you're gonna have it all covered up it don't make no sense to me as a waste of time or a waste of paint waste of money So that's uh, one of the things that I do different. And uh, when you're doing the trees, it is probably a good idea just to do them, uh, how do you say, in, in just clumps of trees. Um, just don't go down a tree boom, 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 and do a tree because it won't look good. It just will not look good. Just do one little clump. Come up here. Again, going back and forth. you can uh, separate another way you can separate trees is that uh, one reason way is to uh, do it with different colors another way is that um, you know you can do a tree you can do a tree just skip a little space and then do another one it'll leave a dark area in between the tree like a shadow area and that's another way of separating. So I'm getting down here now where I'm doing the bushes and I'll do a bush. I just did a bush here. Now I'm going to come right here. See where that tree is at? That bush? come right down here and do another one and leave that space that is your separator so that's uh, Just another way of doing it. See here, I am using a darker green against a lighter green, and that's a separator. And that's how you do it. step back another thing guys is that when you're doing a painting uh, step back from the painting you know you're right up here close you can't really tell uh, uh, whether you need to add paint or take away paint or blend this out blend that out you know step back five or six feet however you, it takes and just uh, take a quick look see and uh, see uh, how it's looking how you're coming along and it seems like I'm doing okay here and uh, let's see here. Yeah. 
And I'm just dipping the brushes into this water because I don't want my brushes to um, to dry the paint to dry into my brush. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm just using this one brush that I had had some white on in which I had already dipped into this water. This right here should be good. Yes, it's good. All over here, good. And all you want to do is make some little water lines. Now this part right here you can do with uh, right here you can do with any uh, brush and you can do it with a fan brush or any brush. Uh, I just had some paint, white paint on this brush and so I just chose this one. And when you're making your uh, water lines, try to make them straight across. Use this bottom part of your canvas as a guide, I guess. And, uh, and that's how you uh, can do it. This is the way you do it. I don't know, is that coming up all right on that? I hope you can see it. Let's put in some green here and let's use another brush for that. Let's see what we got. Need to get some more yellow. Might as well get some more green. And every now and then it'd be nice if you just dip your brush before you went into your paint. Just dip it oh so little water and uh, so it will come off your brush a little easier. But you gotta be careful with that. And this is how you can make the lay of the land. Lay of the land, the way uh, uh, your uh, grass flows, however you wanna say it. Coming up too good, so it ain't. If you want to really brighten it up, uh, I found that if you use some white with your uh, paint, with your green, with your dark, it's a little better. Yeah, see that. See how I'm going back over what I just did? I seen that it was too dark and I did not like that. So I changed it. 
And that's another thing that you need to learn is that uh, when you run into a problem, uh, fix it right then because it ain't going to get any better if you don't fix it, right? And if you don't, if you have a problem and uh, you don't fix it, you keep continuing, it's going to get into a big problem. And I don't want big problems. I got enough problems of my own beside painting. Same, uh, all you're doing is tapping. Just tapping. And the same thing as your trees. Leave some of your dark in there. That's all it is, making grass. Now you want to get creative. This is where I, where I part. Where I want to make it a little, uh, a little exciting, a little, a little fun. Um, I see some areas up here. When you're painting, you'll see some areas. Like I want to do this river right here, and you'll see some things in your painting that you did not wasn't normally was going to do but uh, you're going to do it you're going to find it and uh, work with that don't uh, it's okay and I just see somewhere up in here where I would like to add some uh, dirt and all of them mixing up some brown and come down here Get some, get some black. Get some black in here. Just whatever uh, dirt, uh, whatever color you want the dirt look like. And come up here, right up in here. And put there a little dirt in here. Very nice little uh, uh, detail work that you're, this is what you call detail work. You're putting a little extra in your painting. Now if you happen to be out into an arts and crafts show and you, you know, you're selling your paintings, this might be it. This might be, uh, things like this might be where why you're selling your painting and the person's next to you they're not or they might be selling their paintings this is the reason why a little extra detail uh, into your painting hope i'm not putting out too much information uh at one time it is, it is a bit much to take in again if you're just starting out you know, work with it. Uh, get some old uh, <clears throat> uh, canvas board. I would uh, recommend for you to start now. Uh, if you're just starting out painting, some old. Uh, uh, just get some canvas board. It's called canvas board. It's just a board that has some canvas onto the board. It's a good practice material. It really is. The, you know, I like it. I still practice on it. Yes, 13, 14 years. And I'm still practicing. Now, another thing I want to add is that when you are when you put in some detail like this, your rocks, whatever you're painting, tree, a rock, a cloud, whatever you're painting, finish it before you go on to the next uh, thing. Finishing it means, and now I just put in some dirt. It looks like the dirt is laying right on top of the grass. And now I want to put grass around the dirt so to set the dirt in set the rocks in these could be rocks dirt so you just come right over it and look at it it just looks so much better if you uh, do this This is what I call finishing. And 
I think, uh, I think I might, might just leave that one alone. What I could do later is to come in and uh, you can put in some tree trunks that you want up, up here and uh, some, uh, you know, twigs. Look where uh, some openings are at and you don't want to put in a whole tree trunk to cover up your tree because that's what it'll do. Break your tree trunk down. Put a little here, a little here, a little here, all the way down. Now you, you can't see all the part of the tree trunk. That's what I'm trying to say. You can't see all the little twigs. You can't see all the branches. So uh, just um, just a little here and there make your uh, painting a little more uh, interesting. Uh, my time's almost up here. And uh, so I hope this uh, uh, painting will get you started in, in your painting. Now if you don't uh, feel like you can paint, if you want to come back and see see me paint, come on back. You know, pull up your chair, pull up your favorite drink. Uh, mine is Mountain Dew. I don't know if you can beat that. Uh, you know, Mountain Dew, and uh, and and just uh, <clears throat> watch me paint. And uh, uh, hopefully that um, you got something out of this um, uh, painting here. Again, I'm only going to uh, uh, this only can go as far as you allow it to go. And hopefully you will view this and uh, you know like it uh, and subscribe to it whatever that means I'm not too familiar with all that um, with all that stuff about YouTube making these videos uh, so but <clears throat> I know some su subscribers I guess is important uh, so um, until uh, <clears throat> until next time uh, uh, take care of yourselves and each other if uh, I'll leave you with this little little note of information, uh, give yourself a chance, not only in painting, but you know in life in general, because uh, you might be the only one that does. All right. So again, welcome to my channel. This is Escape Art by Scott, and I am Scott. And until next time, um, same uh, paint time, same paint channel. You guys take care of yourselves. Bye bye.